Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? The Nutcracker, part two. First, we coffee. Have you ever seen that YouTube uh, channel, First We Feast? They have the most amazing interviewer and they do a show called Hot Ones. Check it out, it's just entertainment, just goofiness. The Nutcracker, part two. I don't even remember where we were with part one, except that grandpa took all of his granddaughters on their first date. He taught us how we should be treated. We had some bumps in the road and um, didn't always get treated the way grandpa treated grandma. One of the things I remember about grandpa is he was, he had a heart attack at one point and um, I was still 12. I was the youngest. I was 12 and I could not go into ICU. You had to be 13 to visit. And so all the cousins kind of surrounded me and we kind of walked in together. And I kind of, and the nurses just, because they knew I was the only one that couldn't see him. And I got to see him and when grandma leaned over to kiss him goodbye, like he's had a heart attack, he's hung up, he's, sorry, um, hooked up to all kinds of um, machines and heart monitors, beep, 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 beep. And um, yeah, he just, grandma leaned over to kiss him goodnight and she was going to sleep at the apartment and she'd be back in the morning and his heart went beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and I'm, I remember that. And my parents have the same kind of love. And my situation is not because of lack of example, but I can't, I can't sit and mourn what has been lost. I can't live there and let it overwhelm me. I can miss grandpa. I can uh, be sad that a younger me went through the pain she went through. But I need to try softer instead of trying harder. And I need to just be present with Jesus. When you think of the Nutcracker, often you think Clara and the Nutcracker should be, you know, if, if you're in a romantic, disnifying mode, you'd think that they would be... Um, a romantic interest. There's none of that. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story of adventure. And the Nutcracker is a friend that connects with Clara through her dreams and takes her on the wildest of adventures. And the love found within the Nutcracker is actually a love of uncle to nieces and nephews. He spends the whole year creating magic for children, Uncle Drosselmeyer. And he spends very special time on an extraordinary gift that was filled with dreams. And he knew that it would come alive under Clara's care because she also is a dreamer. And so he, the Nutcracker, whisks her off into a beautiful world that no one else can see. Grandpa made us feel that way. He made us feel that we were the only one in the room. He was so amazing. And yet when you talked with him, he would point you back to Jesus. But he never, ever hit you over the head with it. The cousins that didn't love Jesus were no less valuable to grandpa. It was not conditional love. It was not you love Jesus or else I'm going to not love you. No. 
I mean, they knew that grandma and grandpa prayed for them. But loving God was not a condition of the love God gave grandma and grandpa for us. And it's a really important reminder to me that although I am a passionate Jesus follower and I do raise my children to be such as well, that my love should not be condi conditional to someone else ascribing to the holy text of the Christian faith, the Bible. The love that God puts in my heart for humanity needs to be there whether that humanity ever reciprocates love with their creator, reciprocates relationship with their creator. And I think that's one of the things Grandpa taught me was that we can live dreaming and we need to live with, it's on his tombstone, with no regrets. Live passionately for Jesus. Live passionately for others. And create a world of magic for those around us. And that magic will come alive when they dream. And love should not be conditional on the actions of those that you're loving. On the faith of those that you are loving. Love with your whole being. Uncle Drosselmeyer still had toys for Fritz. He still had toys for Fritz's friends. And when they broke Clara's nutcracker, Uncle Drosselmeyer did not, did not stop loving Fritz. His love for Fritz was not conditional on how Fritz loved others. Oh yes. Uncle Drosselmeyer was especially fond of Clara. I know. But guess what? God is especially fond of me. Anyway, you know where I got that from. Have a wonderful day and take some time to dream. Love you. Bye.